Hey guys, I'm here now with James Faulkner, the star of Paul, Apostle of Christ. Can I just say, as a, a woman of faith, not always a woman of faith, came to the faith, watch this movie, and it relit the fire that I originally had to go out and do oh, what God wonderful. called me to do. That is wonderful. I that's really, really you. moving, actually. Like, really, like yeah. revolutionized my world. Wow. You know, because Paul is so important to a lot of people. And I know people who, it's been their study. They took their doctorate of divinity, they took their masters on Paul. And uh, I'm very pleased that the Catholic historians approved of my version. Well, it was amazing, and at the heart of it, it really, it just reminded me what the whole point of, I think American Christianity sometimes can just become this charade of uh, other things, you know, lights and, and stage and, and all that, but Paul, and just seeing your version of it, to be honest, just reminded me of the truth of why I'm here. Absolutely. So tell me, how is it for you to be here at a, an award show that honors faith films, honors family-friendly films? Well, it's very curious. I, I was out uh, in Los Angeles last year for the SAG Awards for um, uh, for Game of Thrones. Yes. Which is, <laughs> Quite a different which, story. Which is a, 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 a rather different field of entertainment. And it's marvelous, and as big as it is, as you know, it's a very violent show, and there's a lot of sex and a lot of nudity. And, but at least it's a fantasy show. It's a fantasy show. It's not. It's not really not on the streets here. Yeah. But uh, I think that faith-based films, family films, films that celebrate our better natures, are important. And therefore, you know, I'm thrilled to be here as part of the uh, the, the, the movie guide awards. Well, I'm really grateful that you 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 did a project like this. I feel like the world. Uh, well, it, it, listen, it came out of left field, and I was, I read it, and uh, and I was straight back to my manager. I said, absolutely, I have to play this. It's a fantastic role. And and uh, it took me on a journey, I must tell you. I was just going to say, how was it for you? Uh, extraordinary. Yeah. It took me on a journey. Yeah. My wife, you know, was amazed at the difference in me. She said, if only you could be like this all the time. <laughs> it's fantastic what it's done to you, you know. You've, wow. You're filled with a completely different That's spirit, the you know. Holy spirit right there. Absolutely. And Jim Caviezel. Yeah, yeah. And I got to sit down with Jim for the film. Yeah. And he, he just alone sitting with that guy. Yeah. You know, he's all about like how do I, you know, well, Jim is Jim Jim, Jim Jim is uh, is is a, is a devout man, you know. Yeah. I, 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 uh, whereas I'm Anglican light, but I. I had some questions myself as a result of playing ball, and I view the world differently, and my fellow human being differently. Well, I gotta tell you, because of your role in that film, I do as well. So thank you. Well, thank, thank you. And, and, and thank you, Out the Box, and Sony, and Mandalay, for putting me into it. And does make a difference and you can transfer that to other people just just as an ordinary being you know i mean i can be my nasty snitty self as well but i remember what what filled me when i played ball and i was in another place